A new update for Final Cut Pro for iPad just dropped. Let's take a look at what's new. Actually, here's what's new. We can now use Final Cut Pro on the iPad in the portrait orientation. I think some of you are going to love this, especially if you edit vertical videos. I do feel like this layout lends itself better to editing vertical videos but I personally like to edit with the Magic Keyboard, so I'm gonna be sticking to the landscape orientation. Speaking of the Magic Keyboard, we also got some new keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro for iPad. And these keyboard shortcuts all relate to functions inside the timeline, like nudging, replacing with a gap clip, and lifting or overwriting to the primary storyline. These are the same keyboard shortcuts from the Mac app if you're a Final Cut Pro user. By the way, if you're curious about my iPad setup, I'll link to everything I have down below. Another new upgrade in Final Cut Pro for iPad version 2.2 is we get a whole bunch of new dynamic title templates. These are the same templates that just dropped in the Final Cut Pro Mac app. By the way, if you're curious about what's new in that Mac app, I will link to a video right here and I'll drop the link down in the description as well. But you can see these dynamic title templates are really nice. They're totally customizable in terms of color and font, and in some cases, even in terms of the motion of the animation. I highly suggest you dig around in here and see what's new. These are really fun. Another update is that the in-app camera now shoots in 50 frames per second. This is great news for our friends and allies in Europe who typically shoot and edit in 25 frames per second. Now you can capture shots in 50 frames per second and then slow them down in your timeline to 50% speed and get those beautiful slow-mo shots everybody loves. By the way, the Final Cut camera app also got support for shooting in 50 frames per second. If you want to see what else is new in Final Cut camera today, I will link to that video down below. And the last new upgrade in Final Cut Pro for iPad is that we now have in-app access to Apple's Image Playground, which is Apple's generative AI tool. So you can create stylized images based on a description you fill in or some suggested concepts that are already existing in Image Playground or even from your photos library and drop those images into your Final Cut Pro for iPad projects. So that is everything that's new in Final Cut Pro for iPad version 2.2. You guys, here's some other videos I think you're really gonna love. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you again.